team how to play, and I think I'm ready today. Yeah. And Kayla, how, how do you, what do you think is the biggest challenge of uh, facing Washington's interior, which also includes Shakira Austin? Um, like she said, uh, you know, we watch film, we went over our scout and stuff like that. So um, we just got to um, come out and do what we do. Um, you know, they do have a good team. They do have a lot of returners coming back. And then um, people off the bench, that's going to give them spark. So the most important thing that we do tonight is just focus on us and then everything else will fall into play. And Kayla, this is your first time um, in the Liberty um, tonight, of course. So what, what, what sort of nerves, what are you feeling as you go into this game tonight? And what do you most want to accomplish in your first uh, kind of excursions as a New Yorker? Uh, I'm just excited. Um, you know, this is the year eight, uh, new beginnings, new opportunities. And um, I'm just excited with this team that we have. Uh, it's just day one. So I'm just going to come out and just do what I do. And that's all I can do and whatever my uh, team needs. Appreciate your time and insight, both of you. Have fun out there. Zora. Thank you. Zora. Hi, uh, Zora Stevenson. I'll be calling some of the games uh, on, on the Yes Network this season. So great to see you both. Han, uh, I have a couple questions for you. First one is uh, Lee Mung. What's your relationship like with her? Huh. Um, uh, we are a uh, national team teammate and uh, WCB teammate too, and uh, we like know each other like five years, and I'm very like her play. She play confident, uh, and today I will meet her in the court. I'm very excited, and I wish her uh, I wish her play good and enjoy this season. And Han, I know previously Coach Sandy has used colors to help you with plays and sets, but your English has come such a long way. How has that helped you this season in training camp and, and being on the court, understanding what people are saying a little bit better? Uh, my, my trusted uh, Kevin, she, he helped me a lot. And I learned my teammates like Katie, uh, they always uh, say, uh, say some, say some uh, like good energy talk. Yeah, she, she usually say some good energy uh, talking. So I'm learned to them, yeah. Thank you. And then Kayla, for you, um, how much do you take pride in, in being one of the best defenders out there? Um, I, you know, I value that, that, that's what, you know, that's what I do. Um, that's what gets me going. That's what sparks up, you know, everything. So I take, I take much pride in that. So, you know, when a miss assignment happens, I really take that to heart and kind of go back to the, the drawing tables, but, uh, that's my thing. And a lot of times, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like defenders don't get enough credit for the fact that they play offense too. What don't we know about your abilities on offense? Um, you know, I just got there and I just do the best I can, um, you know, do the best of my abilities of being a, a two-way player in this league. And, um, you know, wherever I need to fit in, that's that's what I'm going to do. Thank you. Good luck tonight, both of you. Thank you. Miles. <clears throat> Hi, Kevin. Hi, Han. Hi, Kayla. Uh, good to talk to you all. My first question for you, Han, was actually – via Jackie Powell, who can't be here today, but she wanted to ask about your relationship with Amanda Zowie B since you were close friends back when you played in 2019. And I don't know, because she wasn't on a team last year, if you've seen her since then and, and what that reunion was like, and if you're looking forward to playing with her, uh, playing against her tonight. <laughs> Yeah, uh, when I finished the 2019 season and Zhang Hui she played from China too. So I meet her in China like 20, like 2019, yes, 2019 too. <laughs> and today, today I meet her and we have a big hug. And I'm I'm very miss her, and she's a nice person, and she's very funny too. I like play with her, and tonight we just like, um, I I'm just uh do what I can do, like play uh play serious, yeah, uh, just it, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, and Kayla, 
I think this is going to happen basically every game this season, but you are just such a versatile player. So you're going to be put into a bunch of different roles. But when you look specifically at this Mystics team, you could be defending downhill slashers like Brittany Sykes or Natasha Cloud or shooters like Ariel Atkins or Elena Deladon, post-ups down low if you get switched. How do you prepare for so many different looks knowing that you're out there and can be just switched onto anybody? Um. <clears throat> Uh, you know, I just have to focus on the scout. I have to go kind of deeper than the scout, knowing my role and knowing that um, any given night, you know, I can basically guard, you know, uh, one through five. So, uh, you know, I kind of prepare a little different. Um, they gave me scout, but I have to kind of go a little beyond the scout and kind of really study each player and their uh, their likes and what they don't like to do. So, but I mean, this is this is what I love to do. So it's nothing, it's nothing too big. I was gonna say. It, the other day when we saw you at practice, it was largely defensive drills, which seems to be where you're most comfortable. And you just had a smile on your face at the top of the key whenever you were picking somebody up. What is it about defense that just gets you going? Uh, I mean, when you can when you can stop somebody, when you can take somebody out what they do and, you know, get the ball and go the other end. I mean, you know, how can you not get excited? I love that. Thanks so much. Good luck to you both tonight. Thank you. We'll finish with Jeff. Thank you again. Um, Kayla, I just had another question for you. You know, you've been a starting five staple in Dallas for the past five years. And tonight seems like uh, in New York, your role seems to be uh, being a spark off the bench out there. So how do you kind of adjust that role and how do you embrace this new type of role moving forward, being a spark, being someone who could come in and serve as, dare I say, a death star? Um, you know, you know, to be honest with you, uh, I really don't look at stuff like that. Um, I'm here to do one thing and that's to win games, uh, whether, you know, you start or you don't start, uh, it's about the impact that you do while you're on the court. So that's just my main focus, um, coming in and impacting the game and, in every area that I can. And, uh, you know, just getting the win, you know, when you look too much into, oh, I don't start and stuff like that, then you lose the whole focus of the main goal. And, um, that, that's not, that's not who I am. So. Whether I start or not, you know, I'm still going to bring the same energy. I'm still going to do the same things that I do regardless. So I don't even pay attention to that because it don't matter. Appreciate that. Thank you. And Han, uh, one more for you. Um, you know, as one of the rare returnees to this team, one of six players who was on last year's team, how can you help your new teammates get used to, a, to get used to Sandy Brondello's system? Um, I think I'm learned to how to uh, have a good energy and this few days I'm trying to like make loud, uh, talk loud and the communication with my teammates um, and and in yeah, last year I play uh, in this team too, so uh, I know some plays, and uh, I will talk to them if they uh, they ask me or uh, yes. So I'm just communicate. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your time and insight. Thank you. Man. We have time for one more from Brian. Brian, if you're ready. Oh, I'm up. Yep. Oh, hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, Brian Florenson from Nets Daily and the Local W. Uh, Kayla, my question for you is, Washington has a lot of great defensive perimeter talent with Sykes, Austin, and Cloud. As a defender, what do you think is going to be the key to sort of slowing them down and sort of like stifling their offensive attack? Uh, repeat that last part. Oh, um, I was going to say like, like go, go, going up against players like Ariel Atkins and Cloud, what do you think is going to be the key to slowing them down on defense? Um, we just have to move the ball. We can't uh, do too much dribbling with this um, squad. You know, they have a very good uh, starting three lineup um, at the guard uh, position that are very good defensive players, have very uh, good hands. So there's not going to be a lot of dribbling, but just passing. I think we're going to beat them with the pass. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for joining. We'll send a copy of the recording shortly.